G'day, mate. I am getting a new computer soon. And if any of you out there have ever owned a decent computer, you'll know that they can get freaking loud. So what I'm trying to do is make it slightly quieter. Now generally, almost all the sound from a computer is generated by case fan like this. Usually they're bigger nowadays, but this is a typical 92mm fan. And the only way to make it quieter is to actually slow it down. Now there are two basic ways to slow down the speed of a DC motor. One is to lower the voltage, and two is to lower the current, or the amperage. Now there are certain disadvantages and advantages to each of them. For instance, this fan here, the one I showed you before, won't actually start until there's enough current there, and that's about 100 milliamps. So you, you can start it at 100 milliamps and then lower it down to 20 milliamps, but you can't start it at 20 milliamps. It's one of the things that piss you off. But for instance, this one, this is a different case fan. The microcontroller has different programming on it. It is designed so that it can actually start with a lower current, but you can't start this with um, lower than about 7 volts. So there, there are certain advantages and disadvantages. But let me show you how I overcome that. The way I'm going to be controlling my fans is with a transistor, or more specifically, a MOSFET. There are two basic types of transistors. There's a BJT or a MOSFET. A BJT, or a bipolar junction transistor, uses an input voltage to control an output voltage, whereas a MOSFET uses an input current to control an output current. What the difference with that is, is that instead of lowering the voltage from, say, 3 volts to 12 volts with a BJT, I can use a MOSFET to keep the voltage the same at 12 volts, and then lower the current. And remember how I said I was having starting problems before? Well, after doing some experimenting, if I put a capacitor in between the fan and the MOSFET, then I can actually get a jump of current to start the actual fan off. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here is the basic prototype that I have here. I've got a 120 millimeter fan here, and I've got a ammeter here measuring in milliamps. Here is the basic circuitry here. The MOSFET is right here. That's the capacitor I was talking about. There's a toggle switch for that, and there's also a 10k potentiometer here to change the speed of the fan. Now, remember what I was saying about that these things can't actually start with that current? Well, here, if I toggle the switch off, that charges the capacitor, and as soon as I turn it back on, and remember, these MOSFETs, they stay at 12 volts. So this is gonna charge up to 12 volts not 7 volts or something lower than this can start it. So if I turn this back on, that will turn back on as well, and it will jump straight back up to 30 milliamps. And I can actually run this thing all the way up to what this actual fan will take, and this fan likes running at about 90 milliamps, almost. Remember, there's a certain voltage drop with the transistor, but that's okay, because now this is running silent as hell especially if I bring it all the way down back to 30 milliamps here where it likes to be. You can see that's only running at about 300-400 RPMs and I can actually show you that on my computer because there's a, there's a little trick that I want to incorporate into this. So here is the same circuit as on the table, it's connected to the battery and this whole circuit here is connected to this fan. The, the purpose of this circuit is to control the fan speed and then I've connected the ground wire and the RPM counter from the fan to the CPU fan header so that I can read speeds from my computer. Let me show you that right now because it's actually pretty cool. I'm sorry for going handheld on this but it's the only way. Now I'm on my desktop and this program called AI Suite is going to help me read the fan speed and you can see the CPU is currently at zero RPM. So if we come down here and turn this on get that spinning up and then come back up here you can see once that stabilizes it should drop down to about 3000 rpm there you go and you can see that even though we are not running off of the motherboard we can still control the actual speed see if I turn this knob down here come back up here and check it's actually dropped down to 2000 rpm so how freaking cool is that <laughs>